This is a short video about the modifications to this radiogram. It might look like an ordinary radiogram, but I've made quite a few modifications to it. If we lift the lid up, what you can see is we've got a much better turntable than it would normally be fitted. Um, auto change is quite attractive, but uh, they don't do your records much good. And the uh, extra nice little piece here is it's got an MP3 player and a Bluetooth to make it a bit more useful in the uh, modern world as it was. I've retained the tuner um, exactly as it was. Um, the only difference is of course this used to be a tuner amp. I've put a, a new amplifier in but we'll have a look at that when we have a look in the, uh, the working side of it. Looking at the tuner first, um, I've arranged some copyright music. We'll just tune it in. There we go. Obviously the uh, tuner is mono, uh, not stereo, but uh, I decided that a valve um, <laughs> stereo decoder would be a bit complicated to build at this time. This is the turntable in operation. Uh, I don't have any copyright free music so I can play a few crackles and pops just to demonstrate it works. Here we can see the small MP3 player and Bluetooth as you can see it says blue. It has a radio as well but it also has an MP3 player which is um, a nice thing to have so you can play your modern music as well as your old music. Here we can see the device name on the uh, Bluetooth screen, so if I just pair with it, there we go, there's a little bleep there, and away we go. And uh, now what we're doing is we're having a look at uh, some of the electronics inside the radiogram now. Um, on the left is the power supply. Um, in the middle is the new stereo amplifier. I cheated a bit and bought a kit. And on the right is an RIAA pre-amplifier, which is three, uh, three valves, three double triodes. And you can see the new loudspeakers at the back. Uh, I decided to use car speakers thinking that um, they're designed for not sealed operation and that would be uh, a little bit better for it. What you can't see in this shot is the radio uh, part of it actually lives up the top there um, on the side panel. I'll see if I can get a shot of that. We can see the radio chassis, um, the F original FM radio chassis, uh, which I removed the... Um, power amplifier and rectifier from because it's just now a tuner we can see the power supply there's some relays to uh, switch uh, various uh, things on and off um, there's a couple of power supplies there one's for the filament for the RIAA preamp and the other one runs the mp3 player I've used one transformer and then using two other transformers to step up. One provides the uh, series AC filaments for the radio and the other one produces 250 volts DC for the radio or the RIAA preamp.